hello my gorgeous friends on the internet welcome okay so in the previous uh section we talked about the api that we'll be using and also the dependencies that i just added that we'll be needing for this tutorial all right so it's not much just straight all right so today we are going to be setting up our project i already have a video where i showed you guys how to uh, structure your flutter application okay for large projects so you can check it out to actually get a glimpse of how to structure your application so today we are going to be uh, implementing those stuffs in real life application all right so what i'm going to do first we have our lib folder so i said that in my uh project is basically one of the first thing i do whenever i set up a project first thing i push it to github and then secondly don't worry this code will be will be available on github for you to use then secondly i create the project structure like i go through the project to know what the requirements are so this is just going to be a basic to do application with a sign up login and register page it's also going to have a, a splash screen to check if the user is authenticated or not. If the user is not authenticated, it will take you to the login page. If the user is already authenticated, it will take you to the home page. And then on the home page, we're going to show the leaks of tasks that has been already been added. And then there will be a button to create a new task and also a, play a page to uh, view your tax where you can now delete it all right so that's basically how the ui is going to be like and the primary color is going to be purple okay so right now let's see first thing first what i do is to create a new folder so i'll call this folder because we need to have a screen a screen folder where we're going to house all our screens okay so i call this one screens and uh, you can see i use uh, uppercase as the initial character and then secondly i will have another another uh, folder which is actually a constant so this is more like where i put my api and also more like constant variables okay so you're going to see how i implement that later on then secondly i will create a model because for this we are going to be using a model to hold a collection of data okay i explained most of this in my video so you check it out file structure in flutter okay and also we have a page a folder for styles so this is more like where i put all my styles uh, like my colors uh, yeah they are all under here then i have a util class as well so utility class for short it stands for is a place where i put all my global functions functions that i want to call through at the application that's where i put all of them and then finally i have a widget uh, this is where i put all my global widgets that i will use throughout the application they're actually inside this widget and then i have one last one which is called provider so this is where we're going to be writing all our methods or functions that communicates with the internet api request and all those stuff even our database our provider is also going to be here too all right so yeah but as your project grows you know you might want to change this a little bit and this screen should now be getting deeper 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 and stuff like that so you're just going to uh, structure it that way so the first thing i want to do now uh, is to set a color so i'm going to set the color that we'll be using for this particular project okay so for now i'll be using i'll be setting i'll be giving it the name colors dot that so this is where we are going to uh, add all the colors that we are going to use for this application so i already have uh, that already somewhere so i'm just going to paste it here instead of writing each and every one of them one after the other so you can see the primary color of the app is actually uh purple and uh, this is light amber this is amber this is green this is gray this is light gray this is white black and you're going to see how i'll use this later on in the application to build our ui and also make it look beautiful okay then the next thing that we are going to create here is actually the routers so i normally create routers okay it just helps me just give me this ease of navigating from one page to another okay so more like you can use navigator.push but what i normally do in my project i create a, uh, my own router so that just give me that uh, easiness okay so i just have a router like routers or that so i normally create my own router is because it helps me in case i want to add animation to my flutter application now let's say i want to add animations so i'll just paste it here actually so if i want to add animation uh, page router there is actually something like cupertino page builder uh, if i want to change this stuff from cupertino to material page i can just change it like this material page router and it will give me android style of navigation but i really prefer 
uh, the Cupertino page router because it opens the page as a book okay so this one is to push and remove until I want to remove the back the previous page whenever we navigate we are going to use this for splash screen and this one we are going to use it if we want to move on to the next tax and stuff like that okay then the next thing I'm going to do is the message that will be displayed uh, which is more like the snack bar message okay so let's say you have a kind of dialogue that you want to display throughout your app to show users notification you can actually add it anywhere around here okay but in my case i'm actually going to use a snack bar for this so instead of uh creating scaffold messenger scaffold messenger everywhere in my application so what i normally do is just to have it this way okay i just have it this way and uh yep I will import the colors okay so this color does what this white color is actually coming from here and yeah from my colors and also the primary color is going to be a background color of this so show message this is just going to show the message for us and the show message and stuff like that you can actually have you for easiness you can sh sh make it to be sources okay this is not like a sources response sources message then you call this one then if you want to show error so you can just change this name to error and then right here you will change this primary color from this to red so anything that is error is going to be red anytime you call success is going to be the normal green or any color you want but for this i'm just going to leave it the way it is okay show message because i won't be handling those error and stuff like that i just want to show the message to the user okay i hope you're learning from this all right so now we have our util class that holds our routers and also hold a uh, snack bar message for showing message you can actually have a dialogue or a model or stuff like that separated from your app and then again i need something else which is the button we are going to be using for this i've already created a custom button that i'm going to be using for this uh for this project okay sorry i'm not i'm not, I'm not going to type all these things from scratch because it's going to take a lot of time so i just going to set it up and then we we'll use it later so I normally like creating custom widgets for wherever I'm, whatever I'm using. So this is a button that I'm going to use like, let's say you want to sign up, you want to log in, you want to register, you want to save a stacks. Okay, so we have a button, which I call button that is a custom button. And you can see here now we have, this is more like a custom button and it has custom button, it has a void callback. So this one will be triggered whenever we tap on the button yeah which is this gesture detector and it has a test which is save okay we can actually change the test later but by default it's going to be saved then it's valid uh yeah you can change it to false or true or whatever but i don't think this is really necessary so we are just going to remove it okay so okay so we are just going to remove that uh okay okay let's leave it let's leave it that way first okay so we are going to uh import this gray color okay don't worry you will get used to all of this this is just a normal button that returns this gesture detector and an is an on tap listener so if it's valid so instead of i'm not going to be using this is valid so i've just changed this to status so if the status like if it's loading so if it so i'll just uh return null but if it's equal to force they will just return tap so this will be called whenever the user clicks on login and they will tell them wait please wait while we are communicating with the internet or stuff like that okay so you're going to understand most of these as we are progressing so i'll change this one back to status if status is equal to true so that means if it's loading okay just going to remove this so if status is equal to false primary color is gray okay status force test or please wait and stuff like that okay then next i'm going to add a test feed so we'll be using a custom test feed for this now okay so i'll just have to copy that somewhere and then we have a test feed here all right like so all right so we have a test custom test feed that takes a title and also a hint and then it takes the test editing controller for retrieving the test and then it has a maximum line of length uh, one so you can increase it to whatever you want so it doesn't matter so, okay so uh we are going to import the colors and that is all so this is just a normal custom test feed that returns a column so the the hint which is a title we have a title like a label 
and then we have a container as well then inside the container we have a test form feed which is the controller and the maximum line with a decoration of hints and then the border radius we have to remove the border radius because we added the border here all right the border radius is already here okay so that's all for this and i think uh, the provider and the model we are going to be looking at that later on so for now the next section we are going to be building the screens for this application